I would just like to make this one thing clear. I am not talking about IDW Shadow. He sucks. Ask anybody why they like Shadow, and they'll tell you it's Sonic Adventure 2, or when Sonic X retold Adventure 2. The reason people love Shadow is because he's soft and kind, expressed with his promise to Maria. But in the games, Shadow drops Maria's promise after SA2. In Heroes, because of his memory loss, he doesn't remember Maria's promise. He fights to get his memories back. He fights for himself. He's almost selfish. Not kind. When the Shadow game rolls around, it's the same. He fights to get his memories back. But when he gets his memories back, he hears Maria's voice echo in his head. Please help me, Shadow. And he gets mad. He then states, No one can tell me what to do now. He's not listening to Maria. He's doing his own thing. And the game ends with him tossing a picture of Maria aside. Shadow in the games does not care about Maria anymore. He hates her. He thinks she's an annoying burden that forces him to keep all these promises. Don't worry, Grandfather. Shadow and I will protect this planet. Right, Shadow? Please, Shadow. Please, Shadow. Help me. Shadow, Shadow help, help me. me. Please, Shadow. I need your help. Please, Shadow. I beg you. Please. Please help me, Shadow. Shut up! Shut up, bitch! No one can tell me what to do now. This is not the shadow people fell in love with. I once thought, oh, 06 Shadow was the best, but I was very wrong. At the end of 06, Shadow says, I will fight like I always have. Me and lots of other people thought he was talking about his promise to Maria, but we were wrong. What he's saying is he's going to fight for himself. Watch Pariah 695's videos for more information. They're great videos. From Shadow's perspective, Heroes is the beginning. He fought to regain his memories. Regain his memories again. And then to leave the past behind him. That's what 06 Shadow is fighting for. To move forward. And that's a good and healthy mindset. But it's not what we like. The reason we like him is because we feel sorry for him. And because he feels sorry for Maria. And he loves Maria. And we love him for that. Shadow fans are soft and have a big heart. In SA, 2 Shadow was soft and had a big heart. He hated humanity because humanity hurt him. That's not tough and edgy. That's soft and pitiful. And in a twisted way, it's kind. It's kind. Because he's just trying to make his friend happy. That's why we like him. And the Archie comics get that? They turn Shadow back into that. The Archie comics have a separate but similar continuity to the games. They still have the I found you faker scene. Shadow gets a call from Rouge explaining she's about to die with the Chaos Emeralds. But in SA2, Shadow saves Rouge. While in Archie Comics, Shadow and Sonic team up to save Rouge. And they do, with Shadow saving her with chaos control just like the games. The scene where Rouge is all... That was so unexpected. So unlike you, Shadow, to come and rescue me. And Shadow's like... Hmm, you know, I didn't come to save you. I came back for the Chaos Emeralds. But we know it's a lie. We have that scene, but this time in the desert and Shadow uses Chaos Control to vanish. Sonic and Shadow fight on the space colony, but this time Rouge says she has a video to show Shadow. I don't have this comic, and I can't find the dub I watched on YouTube. And I don't know if the comic even explains what's on the video, because these are all flashbacks that accompany the current story, and I haven't watched sa 2 story recently. But I don't think that had a video for Shadow to watch. But I assume this video is Maria's last wish. And the hedgehogs go super to save the world from the space colony. Shadow dies. The Shadow game events took place in some kind of way. With Shadow killing Black Doom. But Shadow does keep Maria's promise in this continuity. As seen in his fight with Black Death. Which is an original comic character. Shadow loves Maria. And because of that, I love Shadow. He's soft and kind. Shadow tries to turn Metal Sonic good, but he can't. And Shadow beats himself up about this. He then goes to turn a new E-102 good. And E-102 dies and gives his consciousness to Omega who was sent to destroy him. And Omega turns good, but Shadow isn't satisfied because he failed to turn a 102 good. And later Shadow is sent to get a Chaos Emerald from a godlike being, but Shadow can't do it. Shadow beats himself up about this. Then when Hope, an intelligent little girl and ally of Shadow, tells him it's okay he didn't get the Emerald, Shadow states, It's not okay. He's the ultimate life form. He's not supposed to fail. Hope then expresses that Shadow failed against a godlike being. And Hope talks about her own failures. 
Shadow comforts her, because Shadow is kind and soft. Shadow tells her that trusting her family and pushing boundaries is not a failure, and thus she did not fail. And she replies that Shadow didn't fail either, because he knows how his enemy works now. So Shadow hasn't failed. He just set himself up for future success. And the two essentially become friends, as Maria watches proudly from beyond. And later, Shadow does get the emerald from the godlike being. In SA2, Shadow was soft and kind. In later games, was selfish and edgy. But the Archie comics brought him back to the soft, kind hedgehog we all loved. Oh, yes, sugar, make a lick a lick a lips. Tell me with your sweet love, steal me with a kiss. Oh, yes, sugar, make a lick a lick a lips. I'm gonna be a bubblegum bitch. I'm gonna be a bubblegum bitch. I'm gonna be a bubblegum bitch.